Hello friends and welcome to this third episode on understanding cataract a complete guide. I hope you watched my last two episodes. In that I had been interviewed by a famous YouTuber Aparna Ganesh. So in this third episode we are going to continue the same format. There will be some part of the episode where I will be directly interacting with you and some part of the episode will be my interview with Aparna Ganesh which was taken some weeks back. And this entire episode is of course to do with the next part that I'm going to discuss in detail about cataract. Today's episode, which is the third episode in this series, is everything to do about prevention of cataract, a reality or myth. So when I talk to my patients, I realize there's lots of myth about prevention of cataract. So I want to clear all these doubts in this episode. So let's get started. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So every time I release a new video, you get notified. So let's continue today's episode that will clear some myths about prevention of cataract. Here's continuing my interview with Aparna Ganesh. So would you say we should be wearing sunglasses to prevent it? Does that help? Uh, yes, to some extent. At least any ultraviolet light causing damage to your retina mm -hmm. and the rest of the eye will be prevented. So if you buy any branded sunglasses today, uh, it would be mentioned the wavelength that is cut off by the sunglasses. So yes, it is important to wear a brand where a certain wavelength is cut off to prevent damage to eyes. So I am not sure I got that. What should we look out for when we buy sunglasses? So when you buy a sunglass, you know, you have a, a tag attached to it. Mm -hmm. It actually tells you which light it is cutting off. Okay, and which must it cut out? It cuts off the blue light, which is the humming light, the ultraviolet light, okay. which causes damage to the retina. Yeah, it does say UV rays yeah. protected yeah, yeah, and all of that. Yeah, great. So you watched my interview with Aparna, very specific about sunglasses and their role in prevention of cataract. So in episode two, we did mention a few risk factors that can make us prone to get a cataract. No matter your age, we can take some steps to prevent or delay the onset of cataract. For example, stop smoking. Second, control your sugar. Because if the sugar goes beyond 200, it is known that the lens develops a cataract and progresses rapidly. So it's very, very important that your fasting and your postprandial sugar should be below 200. Also, Important to remember to wear UV protection sunglasses, especially when we go out and especially if you are at a beach or a snow resort because the sand or snow is known to reflect UV light and that's where it's really going to be useful. Important to get a regular eye exam by your ophthalmologist because cataracts don't suddenly develop overnight. I get lots of patients who come and tell me that, you know, I just came to know that I can't see with my left eye and you'll be surprised how they realize this. So when you are suddenly cleaning your face with a towel, one of your eye accidentally gets covered while you wipe your face and when your other eye is open, you realize you can't see through it and then you panic and you think that something has suddenly gone wrong. So having said this, that cataracts don't develop overnight, an early examination by ophthalmologist and an early treatment will give excellent visual outcomes. If you are on medication like corticosteroids for any other health reasons, please get a regular eye checkup because these are the situations where you may develop a cataract. This is a very well-known side effect of corticosteroids and a regular checkup can only determine if you are developing the side effect or not. And there are many conditions, unfortunately, where we cannot stop the steroids and they have to be continued even under the cover of steroids, a cataract surgery can be done with excellent visual outcomes. Is there a way with your diet that you can change, you know, your course with uh, cataract or, you know, cut it down shorter with just a diet change? That's an excellent question. So there is no diet change that prevents a cataract from increasing or starting. There is no walking on the grass that prevents or removes a cataract. And there is no eye drop that you can put in the eye that removes a cataract. The treatment for cataract today is only surgery. There is no other treatment for cataract anywhere else in the world. 
all right there may be no treatment and the only way possibly you said you could prevent it is by using sunglasses right that's the only one so what aparna asked me on diet is a very very tricky question so the evidence of diet in the prevention or slowing the growth of cataract is extremely mixed some experts believe that antioxidant vitamins might help prevent cataract by getting rid of molecules called free radicals which may trigger or fuel a protein clumping but despite several studies there is no concrete scientific evidence that vitamin supplements can either prevent or prevent the growth of a cataract so friends this brings me to the end of this third episode in this series of understanding cataract a complete guide now this episode was everything to clear your myths about prevention of cataract and does vitamins or diet play any role of prevention or progression of cataract i hope this episode was an eye opener for you the next few episodes is everything to do about management of cataract and even here there's a lot of confusion so please look forward to the next few episodes which will clear all your doubts about how to manage a cataract so if you missed any of my previous episodes at the end of this video you'll get the link to all of them so stay tuned